Alrighty guys, uh, you see it as clear as I do. Oh man. So how often is it that you see a Toys R Us, Kids R Us trailer? It's not very often, is it? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick little walk around of this. You see Jeffrey right there. Shout out to Wally B26. Uh, I know that he filmed one of these outside of the closing or abandoned store a couple of years ago with uh, up in New York with uh, Aces Adventures. So this is actually this is uh, this is something that I thought I wouldn't ever see in person. The Toys R Us sign. Oh, my finger's in the way. Sorry about that. The Toys R Us sign is uh, is cool. No, no less. But the Kids R Us, the f you know this is old when you see Kids R Us on it. They've been they've been gone for years, man. And the fact that this is here. It's just, it's just absolutely insane. You see the mud flap that says Toys R Us right there. That is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and back up and get a shot of this, man. This isn't something that you see every day. And it's right over here next to an abandoned warehouse type of thing. But you can tell this is old. It's been sitting here for a while. But this is just definitely something that you do not see often at all. So, wow, just wow. What a find. Hey man, you saw it here first. Abandoned Toys R Us and Kids R Us trailer. I'm not joking. You don't see this very often at all, and uh, it's crazy to see that, so. What's up, everybody? So, I'm out here at this abandoned, you know, man, I don't even know what to call this place. Uh, my uncle told me it was some sort of a warehouse for, they, um, they, uh, they use it, sorry about that, they use it as a haunted house every year for Halloween. But with this whole virus thing going on, they doubt he doubts it's going to be used this year. So it's sitting here abandoned, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and check this place out for me. So I'm just going to go ahead. I don't know if I'm going to include these in the same video, but as you can see right behind me, right there, is a Toys R Us and Kids R Us uh, trailer that I uh, saw here that's parked out there in front. I don't know if they use that for storage or what, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this place very quickly. There's fencing around in the back, so I don't know how much we're going to see, but either way, checking this place out. Set the wide angle. There we go. Now they're very well... Oh, man. That smell is just putin out, potent out here, man. Now there very well could be people in here. Actually, doesn't look all that bad. Man, but the smell from this place is uh, it's really musty and stuff out here, man. So, I don't know how well you can see in these windows right here, man. Hopefully, you can get a good glimpse in there through the screen. And then see if we can get a look through this one yeah like i said i have no clue as to what this place was is that a typewriter that looks like an ancient typewriter in here no it's a cash register you see where it says cash and the cents and the dollars that is uh something i have never seen in person before talk about old man this place has got it all the treasure the toys r us trailer the old cash register in there it looks like an old warehouse of some kind there's where the for lease sign would have been yeah i don't know how much how far i can go on this place there's a road right over here and uh i'm not trying to like i said in previous videos that you guys have seen from me 
I don't vandalize or do any damage to any of these places. That's not my intent. And that's not what I'm here to do. You saw it there. I'm not checking any type of doors. I apologize for the road noise. Plenty of cars driving by. And I hear all sorts of stuff just buzzing in the grass here. So, this is as far as I'm going to go. Um, if you see all the way back here, it looks like to be some sort of old vehicle lot. Which makes sense as to why they have it fenced off. But, like I told you, I'm not here to do any damage or anything like that. And, uh, this is all you're going to see from me. Of this place here. Very, very short video. Very short video here. Holy crap, man. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was a huge hornet on the door. <laughs> These hornets just keep following me everywhere. You saw the Sears video, there was a hornet. My gosh, but... Yeah, that's pretty much all we're going to be seeing from here. I'm going to go ahead and get the mess out of here, man. Because, like I said, I don't do any damage to these places. And uh, the more and more I look at it, it just looks run down and things like that. You got bugs crawling all over it. And uh, with all of these people passing by, you never know what their hopes might be. So, a truck full of empty boxes. And here, you have these. I don't even know if I can reach those windows up there. There is one that's open. But for the sake of safety, that's as close as I'm going to be getting. There's the trailer. And all of its wonderful looks there. And that is it for me. Hope you guys did enjoy this video for what it's worth. It's not much. At best, it's probably only going to be like five minutes. But you just got to understand, for my safety and stuff like that, this place is old. I mean, you had the trailer. You had the cash register in there. There's a bunch of old-looking vehicles parked in the back. This is just for my safety. I'm going to leave, let this sit here and leave it alone. Um, I'm not trying to be the headline of any story here. If you, you know, it is a haunted house. I don't know if that's in real life or for fakes. <laughs> but yeah, you, you understand for my safety. I'm just going to go ahead and call it a day here. So I hope you enjoyed this video for what it's worth. And until I catch you guys next time, make the best of your every moment. Thanks for choosing Z-Man.